Okay, I'm here at the beautiful Rocky Ridge Ranch. Uh, okay, I got my air pressure down. I got the... I got the brake correctly set up. The lever here for off-road. Got the camera here going. So I probably need to just start this guy. Okay, that synchronizes both the guys, I guess. So I got that set up. Now I just need to look at my phone and figure out what I need to do. Okay. Talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, first exercise is to walk around with the bike. So that's what I need to do. Let me just practice that one. Get into first gear. Okay, the next step is standing on the peg and starting. Okay, let's try that. Let's try standing on the peg and starting off for sitting, taking your legs off the ground, and then starting up. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Just trying to keep both feet off the ground is getting tricky, so I gotta practice that first. Both feet off the ground, first one foot off the ground, both feet off the ground and take off. Yep, that was not too bad. One foot of the ground, both foot of the ground, no, it didn't work that way, one foot of the ground, no, be careful, one foot of the ground, yep, that was all right, okay, now, one foot on the peg, and take off. Standing, yep. Here for the next exercise, I got the cones all lined up here in a straight line. And uh, what I'm planning to do is I probably need to uh, stand up and go around these cones, you know. That's the practice. It gives you balance, it gives you ability to turn, and it gives you clutch control and brake control. So let's go ahead and try that now. Let's see how that one works. You can see all the dirt bikes making all the noises in the background. Okay. Oh, let's see what we got here. So the aim is to go around these cones, hopefully, and standing up. This is on a slope. Uh, that's why it's getting a little difficult. Okay. That was a little tricky because I was going uphill. Okay. So the key is for the U-turn. Just take your... Let the bike slip out from the other side. Okay, clutch control. Be 
gentle, be gentle. Okay, all these dirt boy guys just flying around. It's all right. I'm really not interested in what they're doing. Just going to my area here. At this point, I uh, you know take my usual road here. And, uh, and I'm just coasting along, and uh, because of the rains, I think the last few days is a little different from how, I, how it was uh, a few months ago when I came here. And this is one of my first slopes, and oops, so it was fun going here. And then suddenly, as I get along there, I realize that man, it's getting tricky out here. I should have taken the road on the left hand side. This doesn't seem uh, too bad, but I uh, can see that ahead, if I get stuck there, it is going to be tro trouble uh, to get my bike out. Uh, there's a lot of mud out here, buddy. So I'm just looking around and trying to see, you know, what is the best way to figure this out. And uh, if I drop it, what's going to happen? And finally, I decide that uh, I'm going to, you know, try to go out to the left-hand side and see if I can get out from here. And that's when I just, my, the back wheel gets stuck in the, the mud. So here I am uh, trying to figure out what else to do. And then I have to, I'm trying to see, hey, what's going on out here? Then you'll see that uh, I figured out that I had the traction control on so the bike really spins and it doesn't really, you know, it gets stuck in the mud here. If you see that, I kind of rev it up, but uh, it just doesn't come out. So I guess eventually I figured out that, hey, I can get it. Switch out the traction control. Then I try to start it up, and then you see that, you know, it's not easy, and then it just revs up a little too much, which is what the skill I was practicing, walking around with the bike earlier, and that kind of helped, although I probably, you know, I mean, because it, it was uneven, I dropped the bike, <laughs> and I pick it up, and then I go from the other side, you can see, let me get to that. And that's where I'm switching off the traction control here. Yeah, then I figured out that if I go a little bit in front, and then I probably can find a place to cross over. So, that's what I'm trying to go here. That's what I'm trying to do. This is an interesting exercise. You know, you 
uh, you figure out how to handle the bike and how to do the various things and there's a lot of confidence if you do all these things because if you really see it's not that much of a deal if I had given a lot of gas and just powered it through the bike would have just taken me across this place but it's just that at this point I'm not confident enough to do that and also as I'm alone I'm a little skeptical of dropping the bike at an awkward angle where I can't really pick it up so but now after this exercise of uh, how to uh, you know start the bike and then walk around with the bike I think see right now I'm actually walking from the other side and that worked fine too I'm able to guide the bike to a comfortable area on the right hand side so then what I do is uh, when I move the bike up and then try to turn because I gotta go to the left hand side you see on the left hand side that seems like an easy path to cross over and finally that's what I did the camera stopped recording but I turned the bike and then I comfortably powered it through and then I got it out on the other side and it was really easy so basically this whole experience uh, taught me a lot of things and you know got me a lot of confidence in how to handle this bike over uh, mud and slush and rot which is very good so hopefully uh, you know now I'm handling this a lot more easy so here if you see even though the bike is on the stand I'm actually holding the bike on one hand and trying to go around just keeping the bike straight this is another exercise which Bill Dragu does and other people do where the bike is standing there and you're touching it and going around so that you're actually going from one side to another on an uneven surface so here's where I thought okay I just need to turn the bike that area on the left and then I can go straight up and I should be good which is what I did eventually so here's where I'm trying to walk around the bike here just holding the bike and then walking around so then I just take a break and then move the bike up and then let it roll back so I can turn it and then I turn it perpendicular to this direction and then I take it straight out anyway Hope you guys uh, enjoy this and uh, I think it's going to be fun the next time around. Talk to you guys later. Yeah, that was interesting.